And hello, we are doing, this is number three of our three-part journey. I'm having to redo these videos again because I tend to say words that TikTok doesn't allow. So, <laughs> it is what it is. I got ten minutes in which to tell this story. Excuse me, I hope this uh, isn't too loud. Um, the first one was about Annabelle. The second one was about Robert the doll. And this one is about Okiku, all the way from Japan. And this right here is the actual doll inside her shrine. This is the real deal right here. Now I do ask that you respect me and people that might be leaving comments just like I would respect you and your beliefs. You believe what you believe and that's fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Be sure to hit that like and uh, leave a reply. I'd like to hear from you. But let's keep this respectful. Uh, check out uh, Annabelle and check out Robert, my other two videos. It's a three-part series that was originally done because of a video that was on TikTok where they were moving Annabelle from uh, to her temporary cage while they were re remodeling her new, her old one or fixing it. But anyway, I got 10 minutes to tell this story. There's so much information, so if it seems a little bit cut up, I'm having to go off my notes that I have over here on this monitor. So anyway... Um, this is Okiku, and she's in Japan, and her hair, normally cut at uh, shoulder length, actually grows. Um, it actually grows, yes, and it's human hair. It started out as doll hair, and somehow it became human hair, and has been known to be all the way down 10 inches to her knees here. Um, so... Japan has uh, Okiku the Hunted Doll, and she's holding tight, Japan's holding tight to her beliefs and her rich mythology and fables. Um, this doll is one that you don't mess with. Apparently, she's uh, 40 centimeters tall, dressed in a traditional kimono, and the doll is exquisite with raven black hair and coal black eyes. Um, and a grin on her face. Well, as the story goes, in 1918, the, the doll was originally purchased by, and I hope I pronounce this right, Ikichi Suzuki, as a gift for his two-year-old sister, Okiku. Um, and Okiku is, became Okiku's favorite toy, and more importantly, her best friend. Okiku played with every day with this doll, took it everywhere, treated the figurine like a little sister. She would talk to it and play with it. She would feed it and sleep with it. And she actually decided to name the doll after herself, Okiku. A mere duplicate. The doll never left Okiku's sight. Now when she was originally purchased, the doll had a hairstyle called Okapa, which is similar to bob cut, which was popular in 1918 with traditional Chinese dolls. Again, that was, you know, shoulder length basically. And Okiku loved her new doll and served as the little girl's companion until, sadly, she uh, became unalive due to yellow fever at the tender, tender age of three. Three years old. She got the doll when she was two. Devastated by the loss, Okiku's family put her favorite doll on the household altar where they prayed in memory of Okiku, which is part of the traditions and the customs over there. But before long, the family noticed that the hair on the doll began to grow, as if the hair on the head was human. The family concluded that the rest of the spirit of Okiku um, now lived inside her beloved doll. Well, the doll was alternately, alternatively located on the family altar, and it was too small of a shrine, the small shrine, I'm sorry, celebrated their daughter and marked her passing into the afterlife. Then strange things began to happen. At night, the doll would appear to be singing. Over time, chilling events would grow into full-blown acts of manifestations and infestation. Lights would be flickering on and off and banging in the house, noises and strange voices. And the closer it got to both her birthday and the marking of her passing, the activity would increase and intensify. 
Well, the town shamans were summoned and they believed that the small child spirit possessed the doll, but the mother said no. For there would be voices coming from the doll accusing the mother of the child being unalive. Accusing the mother for the child catching yellow fever at the tender age of three. Only a year difference. She got the doll when she was two. This in turn made Okiku's mother believe that this was not the spirit of her daughter, but rather some evil entity possessing the doll as Okiku loved her mother and would never talk to her in such a way. They also believed that the power of the doll came in close proximity to Okiku's grave, which was just over yonder. So they moved the doll to a temple. Well, the doll remained until 1938. When they moved the doll, to, when they moved to, I hope I pronounced this right, Iwamizawa in Hokkaido, and gave the doll to the Menenji Temple, where she remains enshrined to this day. And that's right there. Um. She is now referred to as Okiku after her former owner. Some believe that the hair continues to grow uh, and that uh, at one time it was 10 inches long, they said, down to her knees. The priest would come in and cut the hair and they said that the, the spirit of the doll talked to the priest and asked them to make sure that the hair stayed at this level, the neck level, the shoulder level, the Okaba, Okaba, whatever that was called. Okay. Um, the priest asked that the cut hair would remain and that they would continue trimming it. As the years passed on, sorry, I had to scroll ahead. Again, limited for time. So as the years passed on, the doll's fame grew and her powers further developed. She's bolder, invading the dreams of the priest and those who come to visit her. She's stronger, her hair going faster and wilder. She's even spookier. The last event driving tourists mad is the frightening claim that the mouth of a kiku is slowly opening. And if you dare to peer inside the lips there, inside the mouth, you will see the baby teeth of a kiku up in there showing forth, sprouting forth like weeds from porcelain gums. Okiku is located in her private shrine on display in a little wooden box. She is there waiting for whoever wants to play with fire and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the paranormal and the bizarre. Okiku I hope you've enjoyed this and all three of the videos. Again, hit that like button. Feel free to reply. Keep it respectful and positive. Have fun and enjoy this. And until next time, enjoy.